Dr. Corey Casper, now for patients with severe COVID, we know we can treat them with steroids, remains positive through all the negativity. And we're excited to see that um, there are some initial results that look promising. The trial continues. The head of the nonprofit Seattle-based Infectious Disease Research Institute says his organization's local immunotherapy study is showing progress in reducing COVID symptoms, baby steps in fighting the disease, and the race for a vaccine. There's 172 vaccines that are being developed as of right now, probably more we don't even know about. Um, but we think that adding these immune stimulants will be critical. Yet Casper, also a UW clinical professor of global health, says any vaccine will take months to widely produce. And I don't want to be the, you know, the negative Nelly here. But to my eye, when I look at those early phase results, what I see is that those vaccines allow for immune responses that are about equal to people who have recovered from COVID. Generally, when we make a vaccine, we like to see responses that are much better than people who recovered from the disease. Sounds like you're speaking to the theory that some have uh, suggested that it, it could take a couple of different vaccinations to truly be vaccinated from COVID. Absolutely. Uh, that's exactly right. He also believes an early 2021 target is not too optimistic of a goal. We've taken a lot of shots on goal. We've had a lot of misses, but you know, I'm a big fan of soccer and you know, it's like the penalty kicks. So you, know, you, you kick a lot of balls in and you know, the goalie blocks a lot of them out, but you just need a couple of good ones to win the game. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.